Hey everybody, today we're going to be going through all the slimes and where to find them in the game Slime Rancher. So the very first place we're going to go is the Dry Reef. So as you can see here, the first slime we're going to encounter is the Pink Slime. Now we're going to continue on through the Dry Reef. So as you can see here, the next slime we're going to encounter is the Rock Slime. Now we're going to go over to the left and up top. And as you can see here, down below will be the Tabby Slime. You will also find Phosphor Slime located in the Dry Reef. However, we have to wait until it is nighttime because these slime are sensitive to light. So I will be showing you the Phosphor Slime later on in the video. Now if we head back over here, we're going to enter this cave next. We're going to access the Indigo Quarry. So you will need a slime key to enter through to access the Indigo Quarry. And as you can see here, the next slime we'll encounter is the Boom Slime. So we're going to keep moving on and enter this cave next. We'll head over to the left and enter through this tunnel. And once again, there are boom slimes here, as well as rad slimes as well. Unfortunately, there are no rad slimes here at the moment, but we will be going through those later on. So for this next part, we'll head up top here, and you will need the jetpack upgrade to get over this ledge. And as you can see here, the crystal slime. So we're going to go ahead and leave this tunnel and head back the way we came. And as you can see here, the next slime is the puddle slime. We'll go ahead and cross the bridge, and once again, you will need the jetpack upgrade. And the next slime we'll encounter is the rad slime. So to get rid of this green circle, we can go ahead and use our water tank and splash water on them. As you can see there, and we can go ahead and suck them up. You don't have to get rid of the green circle to go ahead and suck them up. But with that green circle, it actually does harm you the longer you are in that area. So now what we're going to do is head over here and down below. So there will be a Gordo located right here. If we go ahead and feed him enough, a teleporter will be located right here. If we go ahead and access this teleporter, it'll bring us to the Ash Isle. As you can see here, this is just another area where we can access some of those crystal slime. So what we're going to do now is head back to the dry reef. So once you're back at the dry reef, we're going to head over to the moss blanket next. Now to access this area, you will need a slime key.
So I will be using this area as a checkpoint because later on in the video, I will be jumping back to this specific spot. So just a heads up for you guys. So at this point in the video, we will be heading over to the left. And as you can see here, the next slime we'll encounter is the honey slime. And like I was mentioning earlier on in the video, the phosphor slime will only spawn at nighttime. So the next slime we're going to be looking for is the hunter slime, which will be located right here on the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clear as much of this area as we can up. And these Largos will go ahead and shoot them in the pond right beside us. Now that we've cleaned a lot of the area up and shot a lot of those Largos into the pond beside us, as you can see here, we'll start using these mushrooms to get a better view on the area to start actually being able to see when those hunter slimes spawn. And as you can see here, a hunter slime finally spawned for us. I do find this area to be the most beneficial for acquiring those hunter slimes. However, you just need to be patient because they are rare and it does take time to acquire them. So now we're going to head back to the checkpoint, like I mentioned earlier on in the video. Seeing as we're back at the checkpoint, we're going to head to the right now. So you will need a slime key to access this part of the map. So as you can see here, there are different statues located in this area. So what we need to do is place a specific port into each of these statues. And the last statue will be located up top, as you can see there. Once you have placed the proper port into that specific statue, this gate will open for you. So we'll go ahead and activate this next. And then once again, activate this one. And then we'll go ahead and fly over to this next one and activate this. We'll go up top here next. And there should be quantum slime located up top. As you can see here, the quantum slime. So now what we're going to do is head over to this one. Go ahead and activate this. And there will be a bridge. So we'll go ahead and cross over these parts of the bridge all the way to the end.
We'll go to the corner and go ahead and activate this one next. Once this is activated, this wall will open and we'll go all the way to the end. We'll drop down below and once again activate this one. And then we'll head back up top. So we don't want to cross over there. We want to head over into this area here. And over to the left, there will be a teleporter that brings you right back to your ranch. We'll head down below and you will need a slime key to access this door here. Now we'll head all the way down this hallway and to access this teleporter, you will need to provide a quantum plort in each of these statues, as you can see here. So this area of the map is known as the Glass Desert. As you can see with our screen, it's a little bit red. This happens in the Glass Desert. So when this does happen, Fire Slime will spawn in this area. And as you can see here, Fire Slime. Dervish Slime will also spawn in this area. As you can see here, they will just randomly pop up out of the ground. So head back over here and to the left. Oh, and some more dervish slime. We'll head up top here and over to the left. So for this area, you will have to restore the oasis to actually start acquiring the different slimes. There will be mosaic slime as well as tangled slime. As you can see here in this oasis, the mosaic slime will spawn. If we head over back up top here, this is where the tangled slime will spawn. Now to restore the oasis, what we're going to do is we're going to head back down below here. What we want to do is go ahead and collect this water from the fountain. As you can see here, it is ancient water. So with this ancient water, what we want to do is head back to one of the oasis and the plant that's growing, it will be a little small plant. If we go ahead and shoot the ancient water at it, it will restore that oasis for us. So to access this fountain, we're going to need three rock plorts and we're going to have to shoot the rock plorts at three different statues, as I'll show here. In order to obtain some of the other slimes in the game, we're going to have to go ahead and do a range exchange with certain characters in the game, one of them being this one here. However, before doing a range exchange with this character, we want to ensure that the Grotto Rance expansion has been purchased, as well as the Indigo Quarry being unlocked. Once both of these things have been done, we can go ahead and do the range exchange with this character. After finishing the range exchange with this character, she will grant you permission to access her estate. This can be accessed through the teleporter in the grotto. Now we'll head up top here and go ahead and activate this. Once the bit of dialogue has finished, we'll head over here and access this teleporter next. From here, we'll be able to obtain some of those Quicksilver slime. And as you can see there, new Slimepedia entry, Quicksilver slime. So to obtain some of the other slime in the game, we're going to have to do a range exchange with both of these characters. So we're going to go ahead and choose this character first. However, before doing a range exchange with this character, we want to make sure that the Overgrowth Ranch expansion has been purchased, as well as the Moss Blanket being unlocked. 
once both of these things have been done, we can go ahead and do a range exchange with this character and he will grant us access to the estate. After finishing the range exchange with this character, the teleporter in the overgrowth will be activated. So we'll go ahead and enter this next. Now we'll head over here and go ahead and activate this. Once the bit of dialogue has finished, we'll go ahead and cross the bridge and enter this teleporter next. As you can see here, new Slimepedia entry, The Wilds. So in The Wilds, we'll be able to find some of those Saber Slime. However, in this area, we will only be able to find Saber Slime as Largos. So to get that new Slimepedia entry for the Saber Slime, we'll have to find one of their plorts to get that new Slimepedia entry. After you have found one of the Saber plorts, go ahead and suck that up. And as you can see here, new Slimepedia entry, Saber Slime. And the last character we're going to do a range exchange with is Victor Humphreys. However, before doing a range exchange with this character, we want to make sure that the Ancient Ruins gate is unlocked, the lab is purchased, and lastly, the Treasure Cracker MK2 is unlocked. After all these three things have been done, once you do a range exchange with this character, he will grant you access to his workshop. This workshop can be accessed through the teleporter located in the lab. So now we'll head over here and go ahead and activate this. Once the bit of dialogue has finished, we'll head up top here and go ahead and activate this. So what we want to do first is go ahead and obtain some of the debug spray. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the different slime on the map. As you can see here, this slime has a normal face. So if we shoot a debug spray at it, nothing happens. If we look at this slime, however, it has a weird looking face. If we shoot that debug spray at it, a glitch slime will form. Once we suck it up, new Slimepedia entry, glitch slime. And once again, if you look at this Largo slime, it has the same face. We shoot that debug spray at it, more glitch slime will form. And the last two slimes are the gold slime as well as lucky slime. Both of these are very rare and will randomly spawn in different areas of the game. So at this point, we have gone through all the slimes and where to find them in the game Slime Rancher. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If it was, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see more content just like this 